Speaking at a meeting with heads of South Korea's overseas diplomatic missions Monday, Seoul's foreign minister called for collective diplomatic efforts to deal with North Korea. Our foreign affairs correspondent, Kwon so has the full story. Speaking to heads of South Korea's overseas diplomatic missions, South Korea's foreign minister, Yoon byung se stressed the need more than ever for all-out diplomatic efforts in dealing with North Korea. At the beginning of the year, North Korea conducted its fourth nuclear test and a long-range missile launch. Even now, the North continues its belligerent rhetoric and actions, such as threatening to deploy nuclear warheads, conduct preemptive strikes and more nuke tests. His remarks were part of an opening speech made at an annual gathering in which he assessed diplomatic achievements from last year, such as the landmark deal between Seoul and Tokyo regarding the so-called comfort women issue, and touched upon the roadmap and key diplomatic targets for this year. Yoon added that with the expansion of South Korea's international clout, expectations are growing accordingly regarding the country's role in the international community. Meanwhile, issues expected to top the agenda during the five-day meeting include Seoul's response to North Korea's threats, diplomacy for peace and unification on the Korean peninsula, discussions on how to utilize diplomatic support to revitalize the economy, the safety of South Korean nationals abroad in the wake of growing global terror threats, as well as discussions on public diplomacy. The diplomats will also put their heads together to devise precise measures for achieving the Park administration's diplomacy strategy targets. In a gesture of encouragement, President Park is holding her own meeting with the diplomats, other senior officials and politicians Monday evening. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.